Okay, after you're familiar with the import and how to create a new composition, so let's do some actual work. Okay, so this one in this uh composition workspace here. So this will be the four hundred uh so we just make it to fifty so it's easier to for us to review our project. Okay, so I want to now I want to pick put the video into this composition. So how we're going to do so we just go to the project here so we expand the video folder and then we uh click on the video and then you can just click on drag into the uh layers the composition chapter one layers here so you will see a plus sign so just release okay so now this uh black color because it's the 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 preview of the video so it will appear as a black color so which means that you already uh put in the 4k malaysia video into composition uh, chapter one composition okay all right so we will this topic we will focus on the key from things which is uh, for you to edit your video so how we going to edit it so after you edit in right you go to the timeline window here which is the at the below here this will be the whole thing will be the timeline uh window so so this timeline window you will uh, get the multiple option based on the layer on the effect that you have chosen so you can click on the small triangle next to the card the name here to expand to see all the option okay so we just expand the transform so you can see all the option here until you see the many stopwatches here okay so how to edit a uh, video so you can just like so click on the stopwatch icon here i want to adjust the opacity of the video so you can see that it will slowly like so once you click on the stopwatch icon here will appear a diamond icon in the zero second you can see the blue color diamond icon so which means that in the zero second the opacity is 100 so if you want to reduce the opacity you can just uh, mouse over the 100 here and then click to the swipe to the left to reduce the opacity Okay, because my background color is yellow, so once the opacity reduced, so we can slightly see it become a bit transparent. Okay, so I want the video in the zero second is 55% of the opacity. So as the video goes through, so we want to slowly in the two second here, I want it to be like 80%. Okay, so we just move the the timeline indicator. So this blue line here, we, uh, we call it as timeline indicator. So it's for you to uh, put it in the second that you want so you can edit your video. Okay, so in the fourth second, so I want it to be the 100 of opacity. Okay, so you can preview, you can uh, drag the timeline indicator to see the preview here okay okay so if you want to preview your video so you can go to the right side here you can click on the preview and then you will see that uh, this is the setting of the the preview so if you want to preview in a full screen you just check the full screen if you don't want you just uncheck it Okay, so now you uh, click on the space bar to preview your video. So you can see the opacity which slowly change to 100% from 0 second to 4 second. Okay, so if, if you wish to stop the preview, just press the space bar again to stop it. So a little reminder here, 
is that after you click on this uh, stopwatch it become blue color you don't click again to uh, you don't just simply click again because it will clear out all the points here all this point here after you uncheck it so if you want to just like add a new time code you can press on the diamond here you can see that there's a, a square box here like but inside is the gray color just click on this so in the for example in the six second you can see that there's a time the diamond here so you just click on here to add your timeline or adjust the opacity you will also create a timeline not only opacity you can uh, just play on the anchor point position scale rotation of the video to try the effects okay so now if what you can see that the once I click on this blue color stopwatch right all the point here will be clear out so don't simply click on the blue color stopwatch in this white color stopwatch which means that there is nothing you can create so after you click on the click on the stopwatch you become a blue so you can see or you can see that they will have a diamond icon here which means that you successfully edit this opacity 35% in the maybe 9 point something second okay so this is the things you need to take note about all these uh, options here the stopwatches